For years, we as media consumers were forced to watch our favorite television shows only when media corporations decided to play them. If we missed it, we had to hope the network would play a rerun soon. Now, with streaming platforms like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon, consumers can watch whatever they want, whenever they want. Also, despite the extreme difference in location, someone in the Midwest United States is able to have a conversation with someone in Japan in real time. The telephone, particularly the cell phone, and streaming services are just a few of many great examples of how we as humans have altered the way we communicate through time and space. According to Croto and Hoynes in their work, Media and Society, Industries, Images, and Audiences, medium theorists say electronic media and new communications technologies have changed the way people experience space and time. The world around us is figuratively shrinking. Everything is getting closer and closer to us. Sending a message has become nearly instantaneous. The evolution of sending a message has evolved exponentially fast. First, smoke signals could travel a short distance to send a simple message. Then, for decades, the best way to do it was to send a pigeon carrying a letter. This was, reasonably, fairly limited. You could only send the pigeon to a location that it considered home. When times called for an urgent message, having a friend's messenger pigeon on hand was extremely helpful. However, when it wasn't that easy, you had to send a letter by finding a courier or send it yourself. When the telegraph was developed, messages became very fast but required a wired connection between the two parties, making it fairly limited at first, but fast. The development of Pony Express and later competing postal services helped, bringing an efficient way to send a letter that involved little effort on either the sender or the receiver's end. This was followed with the telephone, once widespread and common, changed the way we receive and send messages. So long as the person you were trying to get a hold of was near the telephone. Sending printed messages was made easy when the fax machine was widely distributed in the 1960s. This was followed by the portable and convenient cellular phone, which made it easy to call anyone that had a cell phone no matter where they were. With the development of the internet, sending messages became nearly instantaneous and thus instant messaging was formed. Users that were connected could send messages back and forth very quickly as long as both parties were sitting down at a computer. Texting took instant messaging away from the computer and into our pockets, making it possible regardless of location. So what does this mean for communication through space and time? With every improvement in media technology, time and space between individuals are getting shorter. With today's technological advances, it takes very little time to send a message, and that message can be sent to nearly anyone regardless of location or time. We as humans have defined how we use space and time to communicate using the advancements of media technologies.